hey guys uh, welcome to my channel data driven decision I, in this channel i talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff if you're down for that please uh, subscribe to my channel so in this particular video i'll talk about the the comparison operators between these two languages so here you can see that it's a julia notebook and here i'll compare the julia comparison operators and here is the python notebook so in this python notebook i'll show you how it is looks like in python the comparison operators so before i get started let let us tell you like what are the things i'm going to tell you in this particular video so in this particular video what are the things we will learn here so one is basically the <clears throat> so what is the comparison operators okay two is basically how it is looks like in julia and python so two and three is the differences the differences between two languages okay so the first thing we will know is basically what is the comparison operators okay second thing is how it is looks like in julia and python this particular operator and how this particular operator is different between these two languages is there any difference or it is the same sort of thing so in this way what will happen is that you will understand the python syntax you will understand the julia syntax so at the same time you will know two languages in the same same time so it will be helpful for you so it is a one way to go to get two things together basically so now if i just uh, remove the writing here so first thing is uh, what is the comparison operator the comparison operator you can see there are uh, quite a few comparison operators so basically equals to equals to so that tells you if equal or not like equal or not okay equal to equal to and second one is that uh, not equal to not equal to so not equal to is uh, written like this exclamation mark then equals to not equal to it tell you not equal okay so it will tell you not equal then uh, there is a called uh, equal, to, equal to not equal to if it is a greater than less than you already know these things greater then it is called the less than greater than less than then there is another one is a greater than not equal to okay greater than or equal to and there is another one less than equals to that is called the less than or equal okay so uh, so let's start with a uh, equal to sign like how it is looks like so basically uh, okay so basically what happened is that so you can see that i have already written so equality so we know that two is a integer and another is a two so two equal to equal to two so if we write in this way and if i run this particular cell you see that it will give you the true okay so because it's, it's it gives the outputs in a boolean format so if 2 equals to equals to 2 so that gives you the true okay and in the next part if you see that like 2 equals to equals to 1 the logically is it correct thing like 2 equal to equal to 1 it is definitely not so logically it should give you false because it is not true 2 not equals to 1 basically so if i write in this way and run this cell then i'll get the false okay so true false and now 
In the same way, if I type like this, earlier what we have done is that integer two equals to equals to two, so that is give you true. But here is another thing like here this particular two I have written in a uh, like string format basically. So here if I use this particular comma, it is called the string and equals to equals to if you if I only write two. So that means it's a string equals to equals to number. Okay, so this is basically if I write like this. So basically this one, this one is basically a string, and this one is basically a number. Okay, so this one equals to string, this one equals to number. So it, it should not be possible that string equals to equals to number. So if I run this particular cell, if I run this, let's see that. It should give you false because I'm convert using string and number together. So that is not a possible thing. Then another thing I like to mention. So this is another thing. Another thing is I was able to compare two string also. So I have written a name called Sam. Okay, equals equals to Sam. But here you can see that there is a difference. Like S A M. Everything is in the lower case, but over here it is first one is the upper case is and then a m is the lower case So if I write in this way and if I just run this cell It will give you false because these two are totally different thing The thing is that if I just change it to the smaller s I will write it s and if I run this It will be true because everything is similar same between these two strings so the like um, like uppercase lowercase this particular uh, nomenclature should be the same in both strings to get a proper output in the comparison operators so that's a good point i could say so again i just change it to uh, s that is if i run this so it becomes false again okay so now another one i should show you so here i am comparing a float number with a string number so here 2.0 2.0 is basically a float number equals to equals to true two is a cap uh, it's an integer number so if i just run this cell it will show you how it is coming so it is coming as true okay so so you can use the float numbers with the integer so basically this is the same thing only the difference is the float and true but it will give you the true answer as a true because both of them are same 2.0 or 2 is the same basically <coughs> and uh, that's it and if i use uh, not equal to it is similar to the equals to equals to and you can also use the not equal to so we know that 3 not equal to 3 it should give you false because 3 equals to equals to 3 so if i run this cell it should give you false because this 3 3 these two particular integers are same equal so this is another thing and another one is basically the 3 not equal to 5 that's a true thing so if i just run this particular cell <clears throat> it should give you true because it's a true logically it is coming to so in this comparison operator always see that it should come logically or not so logical thing should come up from your uh, coding basically so this is the thing then there is another operator called the greater than or less than equals to so you know that two greater than one that should be true so if i run this here, it should give you true so that's the thing and a one greater than two it should give you false because one is less than three. So you can I can write it like this. And if I run this cell, same way. Okay. So okay, so if I show you how it is coming, so if I run this cell, so if I run one is less than two. If I run this cell, and it just opposite of this, one greater than two, I'm just writing one less than two. And if I uh, run this cell you should give it <clears throat> you can see that like it just give i just change the particular operator greater than less than so that becomes less. so logically it is giving you the two ones okay. so similar way you can also do similar sort of things like greater than equal or less than 
so we'll say odd sum so if two greater than odd equals to three then it should give you true otherwise it is going to give you false so in this particular scenario what should be the logical thing just guess it it should be false because two is less than three so it is not either one is uh, nothing is going to work out over here because not equals to is not work out and greater than also not work out so that is why it is giving as false so similar way we can also write 4 equals greater than equal to 2 so that should also give you true i think because 4 is greater than 2 so if i run this so true because any of them like equals to or 4 greater than is it should be considered so here the this particular thing like greater than is considered so that is why it is giving as true okay so this the same thing is going to also work out in python also so if i go to the python notebook you can see that i have also written the similar way so if i run this cell equality i'm checking it is going true so only difference is that in python to the t is copy copy given as capital t but over here it is given a small trick okay so in this way if i click on this also it is coming as uh, false okay so in this way if i run, run this cell it is coming as false okay so it is coming as false if i run this cell all of them are coming as true the same sort of output you are going to get because it's a similar sort of logical thing is going to come so if i run this cell so it is coming as true if i run this cell it's true the same thing is going to come so this is the comparison operators i think it will help you out in your programming career in a better way and definitely you can use those things in your data science channel also while you're coding uh, your algorithms i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel like it and share it i hope uh, in this particular series of videos you will understand both languages together and help you to be a better programmer better data scientist machine learning engineer thank you for watching my video thank you